afternoon, sanctuary and people attending sanctuary virtually or whenever you'll attend it. Um, I am Minister of Music, Nick Lewis, and today I will be preaching on the seemingly invincible invincibility of humanity. Now, this came about from, I don't know if you know the song, Invincible by Michael Jackson. We just heard it here. Um, initially, I had some issues with that stuff. The lyrics kind of seemed a little problematic to me, but then God kind of dropped this, and it's like, Oh, okay. Oh, and uh, just a disclaimer, if you're not already under your couch, go ahead and hide under there, because that is exactly what I wanted to do when I was writing this. So. Okay. Yep. So, we have the passage for today, 2 Peter 3, 3-9, through 9, and 11-16, through 16, uh, from the NIV. Yay! <laughs> Above all, you must understand that in these last days, scoffers will come, scoffing and following their own evil desires. They will say, where is this coming, he promised. Ever since our ancestors mm -hmm. died, everything <laughs> goes on as it has since the beginning of creation. But they deliberately forget, long ago, by God's word, the heavens came into being and the earth was formed out of water and by water. By these waters, mm -hmm. also the world of that time was diluted and destroyed. Um, by the same word, the present heavens and earth are reserved for fire, be being kept for the day of judgment and destruction of the ungodly. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought to be? You ought to live holy and godless lives as you look forward to the day of God and see this coming. That day will bring about the destruction of the heavens by fire and the elements will melt in the heat. But in keeping with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth where righteousness dwells. Yay! <laughs> so then, dear friends, since you are looking forward to this, make every effort to be found spotless, blameless, and at peace with him. Bear in mind that our Lord's patience means salvation. Just as our dear brother Paul also wrote you with the wisdom that God gave him. He writes the same way in all his letters, speaking in them of these matters. His letters contain some things that are hard to understand, which ignorant and unstable people distort as they do other scriptures to their own destruction. Wow. Okay. And let us pray. God, thank you for the word that you have given me um, and for all the words that you've given sanctuary already. Please flow through me and give us the word that we need, even if it's not really the one we want to hear. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I just read this passage. A lot of people like to play with God, or if not play, test, or they just plain get impatient. Sometimes the, I know, I said, <laughs> the couch is right there. <laughs> Sometimes the promises of God has for us the word they've spoken. Sometimes the promises of God that they have for us and the word that they've spoken takes a while to come to pass. Some people are faithful and they wait. Good for them. Others, <laughs> <laughs> others not so much. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Now, to those at home, oh, I already gave the disclaimer. Still stands. If you want to go ahead and hide on the couch, please do it. So another thing <laughs> I like to do is <laughs> preach with memes. So if you're familiar with the meme of the girl walking and the guy turning around mm -hmm. watching her and then this one girl just going um, next to him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the girl walking, mind her own business, is literally anything else. The guy is humanity and the disgusted chick is God wanting to make good on their promises. <laughs> <laughs> so when we don't find God immediately meeting our needs, we may turn to other things. Lonely? Hook up with someone, anyone out there. Want a big promotion? Run yourself ragged and absorb yourself in your work, even seeking homework after hours. Look, I was there too, okay? <laughs> Before long, the things we seek can become our idols. We look for comfort, validation, and even a meeting of our needs in them. If God's, <laughs> if God's not doing things right when we want them to, then they must not be doing anything at all, right? I don't like you today. Like, wow. like I said, hide under the couch. <laughs> Look, I wish I could hide under the couch and just preach from there, but anyway. Um, no. Nope. So, um, going around the lyrics of the song Invincible, I'll be reading some of the lyrics and then expanding more on how they relate spiritually. Okay. So, <laughs> the beginning of the song starts, If I could tear 
Tear down these walls that keep you and I apart. I know I could claim your heart and our perfect love will start. If you look at 2 Peter 3, 8 through 9, it says, But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. I like how you did that. So God is moving and working behind the scenes. We just have to be open to what they're doing and when they're going to do it. Some people have a hard time wrestling with this. I'm sorry. <laughs> and God may have to do a lot to get their attention, like the song lyrics I just read say. But God wants to bless us and have a relationship with us. But we can miss that if we try to rush things and stubbornly oppose their will. Quack. Which, to fill everyone in at home. When mm -hmm. we quack a sanctuary, it's based off the Cards Against Humanity card, um, like quacking in lieu of a coherent argument or something like that. Argument. Cogent argument. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so whenever we get a word or something that makes us uncomfortable, we quack or moo or say something we can't hear. Um, right. So <laughs> next slide. Um, <laughs> neck breaks. But girl, you just want to prove of the things that I do when all I do is for you, for you but still you say it ain't cool. And now this meme, if you can't see it, it's the girl rolling over in bed, giving the man the side eye, and then the guy just kind of playing there, minding his own business. So the girl is humanity, thinking, bet they're not even going to make good on their promises. Side note, I use they, them pronouns for God. Um, and God's just like, I just want to bless them so much. <laughs> These are really good. Aren't they <laughs> good? Yeah. So this isn't a modern phenomenon. There's nothing new under the sun, which means people have been doing this for ages. Um, and if someone could actually get out their Bible and read Jeremiah 2, 1 through 8. Jeremiah 2, 1 through 8. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. The Lord's word came to me. Go and proclaim to the people of Jerusalem. The Lord proclaims, I remember your first love, your devotion as a young bride, how you followed me in the wilderness in an unplanted land. Israel was devoted to the Lord, the early produce of the harvest. Whoever ate from it became guilty. Disaster overtook mm. them, declares the Lord. Listen to the Lord's word, people of Judah, all your families of the Israelite household. This is what the Lord says. What wrong did your ancestors find in me that made them wander so far? They pursued what was worthless and became worthless. They didn't ask, where's the Lord who brought us up from the land of Egypt, who led us out, who led us through the wilderness, in a land of deserts and ravines, in a land of drought and darkness, in a land of no return where no one survives. I brought you into a land of plenty to enjoy its gifts and goodness, but you ruined my land. You disgraced my heritage. Mm. The priest didn't ask, where's the Lord? Those responsible for the instruction didn't know me. The leaders rebelled against me. The prophets spoke in the name of Baal, going after what has no value. That's from the Common English Bible. All right, thank you, Chuck. Mm -hmm. um, now, as we can gain or gather from that passage, God gave the Israelites everything, freedom, value, land, and yet they forsook God for idols. God compared Israel to a bride in this passage, meaning that Israel cheated on God for something else. Mm. The next few lyrics. If there's somebody else, he can't love you like me. And if he says he'll treat you well, he can't treat you like me. And he's buying diamonds and pearls, he can't do it like me. And he's taking you all across the world. He can't trick you like me. So this passage in Ezekiel, it's very long. It's mm -hmm. Ezekiel 16, 1 through 48. I'm not going to read all that. Is it the um, one about the gods and the walls, and they're all bowing to the gods? No, it's the one about um, Israel being a baby. Oh, Sodom. The Sodom and Gomorrah passage is there. Yes. Later, but yes. Yes, okay. So this passage in Ezekiel talks about how Israel was scorned by other nations. God saw them, took pity on them, and made them grow. It goes on to say that God made a covenant with, with Israel when they were old enough for love and clothed them in fine linen and jewelry, among other things. And yet, the passage goes on to say that Israel prostituted herself to other nations, even giving some of the blessings God had given her to them. Verse 40, 34 says that no one gave Israel anything in return. She was the one doing all the giving, just like um, and no one was giving anything for her, so, yeah. yeah. All right. So, <laughs> another, <laughs> so, another meme 
is this guy just chilling in his car and someone trying to scream through the window. So, screaming through the window is God, the dude is humanity. <laughs> Next set of lyrics. Why aren't you killing me? She's invincible. I can do anything. She's invincible. Even when I beg and plead, she's invincible. Girl won't give in to me. She's invincible. God wanted Israel to come back, but she didn't. They were seemingly immune to God's pleas, almost invincible to how God was healing. Mm. But they weren't invincible, and neither are we. Mm. Right. Another meme. <laughs> I really do not have memes. Scroll of truth. <laughs> so, it's this traveler who says, I finally found it after 15 years. The scroll of truth. And then on the scroll of truth, we have God speaks all the time. We just don't always listen. And then the dude is going, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. wow. Yeah. It's your feelings, Lord. <laughs> all emotions are okay. <laughs> so God has tried to speak to, to humanity for a millennia through the prophets and other members of the fivefold, which, mm -hmm. if you don't know, are the apostles, pastors, evangelists, and teachers found in Ephesians 4.11. Prophets. Yeah, you forgot prophets. You forgot you. I said prophets. And then the other members of the fivefold. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, did anyone stop to think why God had to send so many? No. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like, he, <laughs> weren't, weren't some of the major prophets peers? Like, weren't they yes. existed at the mm -hmm. same time? Wow. Yep. Mm -hmm. Same time, same place. Yep. Mm. It's not because there was something wrong with the message. The people just weren't receiving it. Ooh. Even Ephesians 4, 11 through 13 says that God gave us the fivefold to help build up the body until we have all reached maturity. Since the fivefold is still around, clearly we have some more maturity to do. All right. Next set of lyrics. So tell me how does it seem that you ain't checking for me when, I'll, when I know that I could be more than you could ever dream. 1 Corinthians 2, 6 through 10, and I be again. We do, however, speak a message of wisdom among the mature, but not the wisdom of this age or the rulers of this age, who are coming to nothing. No, we declare God's wisdom, a mystery that has been hidden and that God destined for a glory before time began. None of the rulers of this age understood it, for if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, what no human has, mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love him. These are the things God has revealed to us by his spirit. Mm -hmm. The world's wisdom doesn't always match God's. There's a communication there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The heavenly doesn't always make sense to the mortal. And yet we're called to believe in the former, the heavenly. So unless we hear from God clearly, we're going to be in the dark and keep looking to other things for guidance and fulfillment. Mm -hmm. Now, another meme. <laughs> you know, the, the Spider-Man pointing to himself. So we have Israelites. You made it. And then, or the body of Christ today. Um, if there's somebody else, he can't love you like me. And he says he'll treat you well, he can't treat you like me. And he's buying diamonds and pearls, he can't do it like me. And he's taking you all across the world, he can't treat you like me. Again, the Israelites weren't the only ones who resisted God's word. It happens all the time today, too. People make various idols out of money, relationships, often romantic ones, work, their families, their social status, even their own theology. Take Jonah. Um, he knew God was gracious and merciful, and yet he personally didn't believe Nineveh deserved God's grace and mercy. How often do we let our own theology and doctrine get in the way of not only hearing from God clearly, but acting on what we hear? This one's just bullets reflecting off of Superman, because, you know, Invincible Man of Steel. Yeah. Um, so these lyrics, uh, going back to the chorus, so why ain't you killing me? She's invincible. I can do anything. She's invincible. Even when I beg and plead, she's invincible. Girl won't give in to me. She's invincible. However stubborn we may be, we may be against God at times, they continue to extend grace to us by speaking to us. As that passage in 1 Peter that I read earlier says, God doesn't want anyone to get left behind. Mm -hmm. But the only way someone can get left behind is if they refuse to listen to God and submit to their will. Mm -hmm. And here we have Dory, who will make sense in a minute. Uh, now some say, now some way I'll have to prove mm -hmm. all that I said I would do, giving you everything, fulfilling your fantasy. Then maybe you'll change your mind and finally give in in time. Then I'll be showing you what other men are supposed to do for you, my baby. 
In Matthew 7, 7 through 12, Jesus points out that as wicked as humans can be, even parents still know how to give the basics to their children. In the passage, it specifically talks about not giving a stone for bread or a snake for fish when the child asks for it. So, fish makes sense now. Mm -hmm. um, and the children got those things because they asked for it. Maybe the reason we don't hear from God isn't always that we feel like we're waiting too long. Maybe it's because we haven't tried talking to them. Maybe if we open up, we'll change our minds and finally give in in time. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Look, I wanted to hide under the couch while doing this PowerPoint. You're giving God's message. <laughs> yep. God wants us to hear this. Yeah. Right. Well, we'll right. get we'll, ouch, hallelujah. They used to say that <laughs> the ouch will come, the hallelujah will come later. It, yeah. <laughs> Next set of lyrics. Yo, mommy, stop the fronting. I'm real with mine. All the things that I promised, I'll fulfill in time. Chains in the bracelet, got the realest shine. So many shrimps, y'all have dead legs and still be fine. Mm. Now, we have, circling back to that long passage in Ezekiel mm -hmm. I mentioned, I want to focus on this section. It's verses 9 through 14 in the NIV, if you're following along. I bathed you with water and washed the blood from you and put ointments on you. I clothed you with an embroidered dress and put sandals of fine leather on you. I dressed you in fine linen and covered you with costly garments. I adorned you with jewelry. I put bracelets on your arms and a necklace around wow. your neck. I, and I put a ring on your nose, earrings on your ears, and a beautiful crown on your head. So you were adorned with gold and silver. Your clothes were made of fine linen and costly fabric and embroidered cloth. Your food was honey, olive oil, and the finest flour. You became very beautiful and arose to be a queen. And your fame spread among the nations on account of your beauty because the splendor I had given you made your beauty perfect, declares the sovereign Lord. Previously, before that passage, it says that no one gave Israel the time of day, even going so far as in verse 5 as to say that no one looked on you with pity or had compassion enough to do any of the things for you. Um, rather, you were thrown out into the open field, for on the day you were born, you were despised. God wants to give us good things that will last not things that will either perish or be taken away at the fickle will of someone else. Mm. So, this me. If you... <laughs> Sorry. If you have seen Shrek 2, then I you know not, that's... It's still, it's still great. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> well, for those who haven't seen it, there's Donkey, a character. Is he had Eddie Murphy? Yes. yes. Okay. And at one point, he winds up drinking a magic potion. He turns them into a stallion. Stallion so, did it. <laughs> so, the stallion is God. Idols are donkey and regular form. It's yeah. reminding me of a meme. I'll show you when you're done. <laughs> so these lyrics, he can trip, but his money ain't long enough. He can spit, but his game ain't strong enough. Now the way you resist things, this ain't cool. It's not, nothing seems to work. She's invincible. Mm -hmm. There's no contest. God thrives over everything and beats what any idol can give us. It's like someone trying to pawn off a fake pearl necklace at a fancy store versus someone who made a genuine pearl necklace but runs a small gift shop. And this is what I said your yesterday came in. How okay. if you were in my tribe. Yeah, which I wasn't, so mm -hmm. yes. Sometimes the real thing is hard to find and it's not always in the place we expect. Mm -hmm. Jesus was Jesus wasn't born in a palace but in a manger. There was no great mm -hmm. announcement throughout the kingdom that he'd been born, but there was a heavenly host in them. God's voice and messages aren't always loud, prominent, or even obvious. So we really have to get to know their voice to know when they're speaking. Okay, I see why you said that. Mm -hmm. So now we have Potter Puppet Pal me. Why must you hurt me in this way? So it goes back to the chorus again. Why ain't you feeling me? She's invincible. I can do anything, she's invincible. Even when I beg and plead, she's invincible. That girl won't give in to me, she's invincible. Why ain't you feeling me, she's invincible. She's invincible, she's invincible. Why ain't you feeling me, she's invincible. You see that girl won't give in to me, she's invincible. Wanna know a secret? God no. hurts too. Oh. We'll feel pain, God invented this emotion. Ooh. Whatever hurt we may feel, God feels it worse than we can imagine. To love someone so deeply and to have that love unreciprocated, that hurts. But unrequited love doesn't just apply to romantic relationships, as we often hear. It can also apply to spiritual ones. God hurts when we resist them. They hurt when we cheat on them with other things. And they hurt when we hurt. Doing everything you can to reach someone only to have them reject you hurts. But with God, 
this grace and that as much as we stray from them, they're still seeking to bless. They want us, and they want to not just bless us, but to grow us into the person they intended for us to be from the beginning. Mm. Now we have this picture of a cycle, and it's just the lyrics repeated four times, she's invincible. When it comes to numerology, if I'm using that word right, four means teaching. Mm -hmm. Here, the same line is repeated four times. Michael's tried to get this girl multiple times, just as God has tried to reach us multiple times. Maybe it's time we took a lesson from this and stopped to listen and respond. We won't always like what we hear, I can guarantee you that, but it will always be what we need to hear. And now we have this <laughs> um, <laughs> It's just this random fake face, <laughs> just built on a sidewalk. No posts or anything surrounding it, it's just kind of there. And it's how our invincibility holds up against God. So this, oh, again, repeating some of the lyrics. Why aren't you feeling me? She's invincible. I can do anything. She's invincible. Even when I beg and plead, she's invincible. That girl won't give in to me. She's invincible. So one more secret for y'all. Ready? We're not invincible. I said earlier that God triumphs over everything, which includes our stubbornness. They won't force us to listen or to submit to them but their will will still be done. It's our choice as to what part we want to take in it. Mm. So final meme for this sermon is a woman saying, I have done so much wrong throughout my life, and God is just like, I know this, and I love you. God knows we're prone to stray and chase everything but them, but there's grace in that. They are always wanting for us to come back. They want to bless us, grow, grow us into the person they've created us to be, and lead us down the right path. But we need to acknowledge that they're the only God and that everything else we put above them is an idol that can't even hold a, hold a candle to them. The word of God for the people of God. Amen. I'll give you your chair back. Oh wait, you have to do discussion. Oh.